What's going on? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. Let's talk about this new record from Stella Donnelly, entitled Flood, that was released on August 26th. This is her second studio album, and it's the follow-up to her 2019 debut, Beware of the Dogs. In Australia, you know that I absolutely love your music scene, and I think it's so much better with Stella in it now. Fabulous over the last few years. That album cover, pretty cool. There's definitely a great story there. I have no idea what birds those are, but Stella does picked up ornithology through COVID. One of the things that helped her center herself and get back to that place where she needed to be to create music because she talks about the aftermath of Beware of the Dogs, the success that came along with that record. It's an outstanding album. And she just found herself closed in on, claustrophobic, the stress, the pressure, all the different things from touring just burnt her out. And so took some time to reflect, center herself, travel around and did a lot of bird watching. And it's really cool to see the way that like I said, that got her back to that space where she needed to be to create art, and I'm so thankful for it. I want to start with her voice. She has probably one of the most lovely singing voices that I've heard in quite a while. Absolutely outstanding and an incredible range, but really what amazed me the most is the control that she has over that voice. A lot of, a lot of artists are really good at it. She she is spectacular. That's all I have to say about it. But lyrically, I, I love the introspection on this record. Talk about that experience of, of traveling and trying to center herself again. Focused a lot on relationship dynamics, whether it's with family or you know with a, a romantic relationship. A lot of that stuff got very complicated through COVID. Uh, you know, sadly, I'm sure there's many of you that you know might have a relative or someone that you don't speak to because. You know, they don't agree with you on an issue. And unfortunately, I think it's really silly. And I like the way that she just kind of lays that all out, bears her soul. And it's um, it, it's it's really worth following along on this record with the lyrics. I think, I think give it a first listen just with the headphones to relax and then pull those lyrics up for the second one. It's going to make the experience, I think, a little more enriching. And as far as the music, my goodness, the arrangements on this record are... Are incredible. There's some songs that fill out nicely that have a good rock and feel, still light, you know, but I, I like the alternative rock element that's there. And there's some stuff that sounds full on just folk and Americana. There's some moments of balladry where it's just Stella and maybe her piano and a guitar and really allowing her voice to be the focal point of those tracks. I think it's the focal point. I think it's the 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 focal point of the entire record. But I love the continuity of these songs, the way that they come together, and especially with the difference in the arrangements. There's definitely a lot going on here as far as the genre influences and some really fun things as well. The horn arrangements that are featured throughout this record are outstanding. I love the way that that comes together with these songs. And then the other thing I noticed too is that it's so nuanced. It's so slight. But there's this great feel of bossa nova through some of these songs. And I think that she's working with that element extremely well. So let's get into the track run. It starts off with the song Lungs. It's up-tempo. I really like the way that the drums come right out of the gate. It's got this solid bass, uh, just bounces along. It's a really cool bass line. I love the piano and the guitars that kick in. Great light melody. It's really bright and just a wonderful way to open up this record. I'm a big fan of the song. Your second track, How Was Your Day? is just i love the way that it kicks right in you get this uh verses have this recitative vocal that takes on kind of a punk rock element it's very fun balanced with you know that that light alternative feel of her music and i'm not going to go out of my way and say that this is post-punk because that's definitely uh its own subgenre and very i think it sounds very distinct this is something entirely different something uniquely its own. And I love that song for that reason. Restricted Account is your third song. It's got this ambient intro, diving into more of that Americana feel. I like the change of pace. This is one of those songs with great horn arrangement. I love the way that it comes in. And for some reason, overall, this thing just reminded me a little bit of Counting Crows was the vibe that I got when I was listening to it. Underwater, your fourth track, gorgeous moment. I really like the piano and vocal element here. There's just some, you know, really minimal instrumentation that's ushered in and out of this song. A little bit of bass here and there, a little bit of drum, a little bit of synth. It's a gorgeous track and it really shows off her voice incredibly well. Metals, your fifth song, moving back into the pace a little bit. You get a little more of that electric guitar, simple riff, great vocal element. I like the way that the music fills out. There's a, a bit of pop. This is where you get a little bit of that bossa nova feeling, some surf rock as well. I like that element also. This particular song is one of my favorites. There's a saxophone solo that is just, 
it's outstanding. Really enjoyed that the first time I listened to this song. And, you know, the second time I listened to it as well. Move Me, your six-track, light, acoustic-driven, all rock, kind of pulling things back a little bit. Another great horn arrangement on this particular track. Your seventh song, Flood, keeps the tempo going. I love the drums. And, uh, you know, you just get this, um, you know, just lots of sparts elements uh, moving in and out with those driving drums. It's a great track. A really nice sense of minimalism on this song. This week, your eighth song, Darker Feel. This is probably my favorite track on the record because it is it is slightly different. It's got this distinct dark feel. There's a little bit more synth than the rest of the songs. Great piano element. And I love the electro pop feel. Another solid horn, horn arrangement. Excuse me. It's uh, it's definitely my favorite track for sure. This week, uh, just talked about that. Oh My My, your ninth song, Back to That Balladry. Um, just great moment with Stella and her piano showing off that voice. And uh, I, I really enjoyed this song. I would say that this is one where you should pull up the lyrics and, and definitely check that out too. Morning Silence, your 10th track. Really like just the, the simple toned down acoustic and vocal element on here. A little bit of that bossa nova element influencing this song as well. Really nice, gentle, pretty penultimate track. To lead into Cold, which is a nice way to close this thing out. You come full circle, get back to more of a rocking mood, right into it with that rock feel. You get great piano, love the driving drums on this uh, song. This record's outstanding. Stella is outstanding. I, I cannot get enough of this thing. I have to go to the bar to, to bartend right now. But uh, as soon as I get back, I'm going to give this thing another spin. Vinyl, please, for sure. Hope you find this review helpful. Hope you enjoy this record. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel. Do all the things to help me blow this project up in 2022. Stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. We'll see you next time on The Beat Sessions.